so um, today I'm doing a wedding makeup look. I'm making this a series, probably a three part series. I'm going to try to do like three different makeup looks, maybe more depending on what kind of products I want to use. Um, but yeah, this is the look I'm doing today. If you want to see it, just keep watching. Stick around to the end to find out where I got this lip color. Okay, so let's deep dive into the products. Okay, so as I said, we're doing wedding makeup because I'm getting married in January and it's, I don't even know what today is. It's the 17th of September, so we really need to get the ball rolling. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with concealer. I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Um, it's supposed to be a 16 hour wear which would be perfect for a wedding and I've used this probably the last four years, three or four years, however long it's been out. I've tried it and used it. So I'm using medium neutral because I was self tanned. Definitely I'm not self tanned today but so I'm going to start out with the light one first just putting it there and there on both of my eyes. Then I'll do the lighter one on my top of my eye and then add a dab and then we'll do the middle line light. Then I'm going to go in with the darker concealer so we don't have no flashback. Mary come to haunt us and there and then outer sides of there. Also do not, if you're not used to this, don't try and do it like this. but. This is what I'm doing. Mm. So I was about to use my Beauty Blender, but I forgot to wet them, so I'll be right back. Okay, they have now been wet. So now I can go in and mix it around. And I just realized I forgot to prime my face. So this may not end up doing how it usually would because I did not prime my face, which happens sometimes, you know, we just forget things and it just does not do what we need it to do. Okay, so I will go ahead and just tell y'all about me while we're doing this to make this a two in one, get it all out of the way because I have yet to make one about who I am. So, from my name, you know my name is Brianna Skye. Skye is not my last name, that is my middle name. I do not choose to use my last name because my parents are divorced and have been separated ever since I was little bitty. So, I'm going to pause for a second because I'm going to go ahead and use my primer. Check it up. I'm using the Two Faced Hangover 3-in-1. Prime set refresh is the three in the one. So I'll let that just kind of melt into the skin. So don't use my last name because of that reason. So I go by Brianna Sky. I always have. It's just what I do. Okay, so Concealer is done. Now I'm gonna go in with the, like I said, Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 1L01A. I assume that that is the shade. Not quite sure. Back in with the Beauty Blender again. And I'm just gonna mix that all over the face. So more about me. Parents have been separated. I lived with my mom. Um, it's just how it worked. He ended up cheating on my mom, so she got custody of us, me and my sister. I do have a sister. She is 25 and married and lives farther away. Right now, I am back living with my family. I'm with my grandparents who live right next door to my mom. Uh, my mom enjoyed, I think, having us kids gone, so I just decided to stay with my grandparents instead. 
plus they are older and they do um, need help around their house and everything. My grandma especially, she's been having some health issues because she just had surgery not long ago and now she um, has a little bit of a blood clot. So I'm trying to help out and take care of them as much as I can while I'm here. Um, I am trying to move later either this year or early next year out to be back on my own because I was on my own um while I was at college um I'm gonna pause again I'm gonna use a brush to use my foundation on my neck um so yeah I was at college I went to community college first my first two years Loved it. Had a great experience. Wasn't far from home, so if I ever need anything, to easily just run home and grab it. I was on the dance team there. Loved every minute of it. Would go back if I could, but I can't, obviously. Too old. Well, not just too old, because you can always go back as a non-traditional student, but been through it already, so I really can't. Um, make sure I get my nose really good, because my nose likes to deny foundation all the time. Looks like it matches. We're doing good. But yeah, so after community college, a lot of my friends that were on the dance team with me were like, we're going to Old Miss. I was like, okay, cool. I'll go too. So I did. And we ended up being roommates. Three. Three other girls. Okay, three. That's a lot. Especially, I knew two of them since I was probably like six, seven years old, maybe five. And, um, from then on, I just thought it would be a great experience, which it ended up not being the best because with three girls and all different kinds of personalities, it gets a little different. And I also reconnected after like a month of being there with, um, <clears throat> the cutest guy that I had a crush on. When I was 17, we were kind of friends. Um, we hung out, went to parties together, that kind of deal. Um, never dated, but then we went our separate ways and never saw or talked to the guy again. And then uh, we reconnected last year, last August. Last August? Hello, it's been two years. Two years ago, August. And been dating ever since. We got engaged last December and he's now my fiance funny little story I guess <laughs> when you know someone you figure they're it you know when you know you know you know anyway so um now I'm gonna be using the elf putty bronzer this is the color what it looks like it's in a little container this is a shade golden days and I'm just taking it on a thicker brush um but yeah um we're getting married in January hence the video um and we're very very much procrastinators so we've put off a lot of planning we have our venue and stuff like that which I'll get into more detail in that in another video of all the stuff we have done and all the stuff we still have to do and it's literally early January so technically we only have till December to get everything together um but yeah so Going back to college, I ended up, my roommates ended up moving after a year of living together. They still lived in the same, uh, at the same apartment complex. They just moved down a room because they had other friends coming to Old Miss and they wanted to room with them. And I was like, yeah, sure, go. That's fine. We weren't really having the best time together anyways um, during that year. So I was completely okay with them leaving and... Um, my fiance now, the guy and I, when we were dating, he moved up to Oxford to be closer to me so we could, you know, be around each other more, not live like three hours away and never get to see each other. And, um, so he lived up there. So then he decided to move into the same apartment as me because it's four bedroom, four bath. Uh, you just share the living in the kitchen. I use 
the e.l.f. again, the Putty Blush, in shade Tahiti. That's the color. Looks kind of peachy on camera, but it's more pink, I promise. But yeah, so he moved in with me. We got two other random roommates who ended up not being who they said they were at the beginning. They were really nice at first, and then they started to show their true colors and made us want to just completely leave Oxford. So we waited till our lease was up in July. We moved out because we just had a lot of issues with them. And they, yeah, we'll leave it at that. We can get in more depth later if y'all want to about it, if y'all have any questions. But, um, yeah, we just didn't do well with them. Anyways, so we came down here and my grandma was like, well, how about y'all just live with us until y'all can figure out somewhere to go or what to do. Because I'm still at Ole Miss, um, messed up a few classes, so I'm finishing them out online, and I should graduate by December. And then I will officially be done with college. Thank you, Lord. Because I just, last two years just haven't been the best. It's been kind of bad, especially with COVID and having to do zoom for my first two years there and not really known anyone there it just I didn't do well I didn't fit in at Ole Miss either so that didn't help I'm not that type of girl to wear a lululemon with my on clouts no I wear a t-shirt and shorts um shorts being like Under Armour Nike I'm a basics early 2000s girl still and I was only born 2000 so doesn't make sense but that was my dream as a kid to wear leggings and shorts and a t-shirt to college and I made little me like eight-year-old me happy and I did that did exactly that and I loved it and I didn't care and then whatever tennis shoes I had at the time which I think were my NMDs my gray NMDs which now look like crap yeah so we've gotten blush and bronzer done I think you can kind of it on camera the lights are kind of messing it up um now i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows i'm gonna use the milani little thing it's um in soft brown stay put brow color i'm not good with brows so bear with me what else is there about me oh um i just had my birthday not too long ago actually it's almost been almost exactly a month. Uh, my birthday is August 15th. I turned 22. Had a, having a Taylor Swift year. Not really. Hopefully this year will be a lot better than last year. I'm really hoping. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways. Um, 22. My fiance is 22. We're the same age. His birthday's just earlier in the year than mine, so he's been 22 longer. Um, I have three dogs. Well, I guess technically we have three dogs, my fiance and I. We got the first one together. Her name is Letty B. She's the cutest little thing. She was only six weeks old when we got her, and we got her from his aunt, who her dog ended up getting pregnant and she didn't plan on it so she had lots of puppies to give away but I only wanted one at the time which was the perfect time honestly because my family we had just all lost our dog right before I went up to Oxford which made it even harder to be living like three hours away from my family because we had had our dog since I was four and she passed away when I was 20 so she lived a long long life with us and trust me she was very spoiled plus she's a little dog so of course she was spoiled a lot easier to spoil them because they're small but yeah so Lady B she is a plot hound mix or at least that's what we're assuming she is her mom is a mutt technically and we're not really sure who the dad is we're assuming who it was what dog it was 
but we're not 100% positive. So we're just guessing what her actual breed is. Plus she looks exactly like a plot hound mix. So that's just what we call her as a plot hound because that's what she looks like. I'll one day maybe do a DNA test for her to figure out exactly what's all in her. But I would say it's probably plot hound and pitbull or plot hound and boxer because she's brindled. Um, I'll insert a picture somewhere on the screen so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. But she is going to be turning two in October. And after we got her, we then got our second dog, whose name is Gannon. My fiance had always wanted a um, red bone coon hound, and he saw one. Someone was giving away for free, as long as, you know, good home, which of course, I love dogs. I'm gonna give them a good home. Spoil them, all of it. So we got him, and he was almost a year old when we got him. So he uh, turned two back in March. So he's getting closer to being three years old, which is crazy to me since he was just almost a year old um, when we got him. But time flies, I will say that, especially with dogs. They're just like having kids. It's time flies with your dog and your kids and everyone. I mean, it just flies in general. But there are my brows. They're distant cousins. They are not sisters at all. They're two different heights, two different shapes. I've tried to fix it. I can't. I can't. I just don't know how. Someone needs to just come and do my eyebrows for me. Anyways, so I'm now going to set partially my face with the Cody Airspun translucent, translucent, I can't say that word, powder. So I just got some in the lid and then I will take a brush and get a little bit to just kind of get the parts where I get really oily, which is around my nose, very much my nose, and my smile lines, because those are always there. So after Gannon, we then more... I just heard a noise. Could be my fiance who lives that way, through the wall, to the next bedroom. But... Um, we got our next dog, which again, my fiance just had to have a yellow lab. Well, in like, really any lab, but we found a yellow lab before any other kind of labs. And I was like, I want a yellow lab because they're lazy and cute and adorable. And everyone has a black lab. Like everyone I know has a black lab. So I did not want a black lab. Plus my sister has a black lab mix. So that's just not going to fly. So we got a yellow lab. We named him Walker Tate after um, one of our favorite shows of the time when we got him, which was Yellowstone, Walker, one of the hands, and then Tate, the little boy. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm going to take a different beauty blender and go in to kind of set areas I want more shown. So, the cheeks. Um, Walker is not even a year. Him and Letty B have close birthdays, so he will be a year in October when she is turning two years. So we have an almost three-year-old, an almost two-year-old, and an almost one-year-old. So, that is crazy. But thankfully they are dogs and not humans. Dogs are still as much of a responsibility, so if you're thinking of getting a dog, don't think they're easy. They are not. They all have different personalities, and you can't choose their personality. Trust me, we tried. Letty B is a drama queen. If you imagine the most sassiest little toddler you can think of, that is her. 218. Gannon acts like an old man. Doesn't want to be bothered unless he wants to be bothered, and then he'll initiate the bothering. And most of the time he just sleeps and lays around, which honestly was my dream dog because I want a dog that'll just lay there and cuddle with me and accept it and be okay with it. Now be always hyper, which is Letty B. My powder just went everywhere. So I have set my face, brushed it away. We're looking a little bit more matte, which is what we want. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and, if I can find it, um, add just a little bit more color on the blush and the bronzer, just so I know it's nice and dry, using the Too Faced Natural Palette, which has 
highlight, highlights, blushes, and bronzers. So, um, I'm going to use the bronzer first. The one at the very top. The other one's a little more shimmery. Kind of add it and give me a little bit more bronzing effect. But yeah, we have three dogs. Um, I think that's, that's the only animals we have. I do help take care of my family's other dog, which is my grandparents' outside dog that they have to basically ward off people because she only likes girls. She is very much a feminist to her core. Only likes girls, except for she does like some men. Like she likes my fiance and then my granddad. That's it. Anybody else, she will tear into them to shreds. Loves girls though. So odd, but personality, like I said, you can't change it. A little bit more blush, just to really get it color showing through. Okay. Um, I'm gonna brush some of that away. What else is there? I can't think about anything else about myself. Oh, I should tell you probably my major of, you know, school. I probably would help. Um, I'm now gonna be trying out the e.l.f. No budge shadow stick. That's the color. You can see that. It's kind of like a champagne silver, but I'm just gonna put it all over the uh, lid, maybe at the top, and then I'll use eyeshadow the rest of the way. I don't know if you can even see it, but just a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the other side. So my major is psychology, which while I was in Oxford, I did hold a job within my field and I loved every second of it. I hated having to leave, but it's a lot of circumstances that made us leave Oxford and I really couldn't control some of them. Um, but yeah, love my job. Um, I originally was a math major, but then I changed to psychology, which is what I studied at community college, so it was pretty easy to transition back to, but still a little behind, so that's why I'm finishing this last semester now. I'm going to use the Morphe 35F palette for the rest of my eyes. That's what it looks like. I've only used it a few times, so it's not very used, I guess. There's sparkles everywhere though. Very much me. I love sparkles, so it tends to happen. I'm going to use a fluffy brush and go into the lighter, probably the lightest brown I can find. And just fluff it out around my eye like that. Um, I currently, I know it's going to be a question, I currently do not have a job. Uh, my grandparents really want me to focus on school. Um, but I do have other bills and other issues like that to deal with. So I have been trying to find a job, but it's actually really hard trying to get one around where I live. Because even if you have like the requirements of the job, they're still very hard to get through all the processes and get a job right away which is really annoying but um there's more I can probably tell you later on because my fiance and I do have a plan for getting jobs and stuff but um we don't know if it'll work out but I'll let y'all know when the time comes to like tell y'all because obviously y'all find out because this is me filming my life, mainly so I can see it, show our kids one day, and yeah, just document our lives. This is also just to help me to be able to see wedding makeup looks and how it looks on camera because, as you know, it can look different in a mirror than it can on camera. So we're trying it out. I don't know if that's dark enough. It's kind of looking brown in the viewfinder. It looks more dark on the mirror, but 
think I may actually add a touch of black. It's very black though. We'll just Do anything? Oh, yeah, it did actually. Okay. Can't really tell in my mirror. I'm trying to think of what else there is about me to think of. Um, I guess I could tell you like the basic questions people always find out about everyone, which is what's your favorite color? What's your favorite animal? You know? So I guess I'll go ahead and just say those just so we can get that out of the way. Like a um, icebreaker in college. Favorite color is pink or green. Now, not like a hot pink, like a pale, dusty rose pink. Are those even? They look even. We'll go with it. And then for green, it would either have to be like a lime green or a sage green, which I know is on two different spectrums of green. But that's just what I like. Um, I'm also going to add a shimmer from this palette on top of the e.l.f. I don't know if you can see what the e.l.f. looks like. It's kind of hard. It's kind of blended in. So I'm going to just take a white-based shimmer from the palette and pop that on. It's giving kind of gray. Now I kind of look like a smoky eye. Which, trust me, I used to have to wear a lot of smoky eyes in my life. Thank you, uh, dance team and dance growing up. But, um, does that look crazy? I feel like it looks like I'm getting ready to go dance on the football field. Maybe we could add some, like, gold. That is orange. That is not gold. That is not the color I wanted it to be. I'll try this color. Maybe that's better. It's more of a champagne. It'll fix. It'll fix. That's what I always tell myself. Anytime I mess up on makeup, especially if I have to go somewhere, which thankfully today I don't. I have to go to the gym, so this will all come off, but I don't have to go anywhere else thinking this. I kind of want to try. So I've been toying with the idea because I did my sister's makeup for her wedding. And I used a brush like this, just a flat, like, tough ended brush to give her eyeliner but she didn't like the harsh of like a liquid eyeliner so I used eyeshadow actually to just dip it in and smudge across so I may actually see how that looks on me now when my day comes I will probably either get my eyelashes done or I will wear fake eyelashes just to emphasize the drama, you know? It's actually not that bad. I don't know if you can tell the difference. My eyes really watering though. So I like stabbed it. Hmm, I actually kind of like that. I'm gonna add a little underneath. Just kind of smudge it out. It's actually kind of harsh. It's a little harsh. I'd maybe use brown on the bottom instead. But I'm just here to play around with the makeup to see what I like best. Because that's the whole point of makeup is to play around. I'm going to use some brown now to just kind of lighten it up. Maybe that'll do the trick. Yes, no. I don't think it did the trick. Back to the black. For the other eye, which this can be tricky. But we're gonna try it anyways. I completely avoided the other question. That's like an icebreaker question. Which is what is my favorite animal? That is an elephant. I love elephants, always have. I think it started with when I was born. I actually got a stuffed elephant 
the day I was born. Like, I remember my mom had to tell me this, but I'd always had this stuffed animal. She's like, do you know where you got that? I'm like, no, of course not. I was born. She was like, oh, they gave you that when the day you were born. I was like, oh, how cute. I guess that's where it all stemmed from. Never know. We're just going to make them even, even though I don't care for the black right there. We're still just going to. Do you see how pigmented that is? Morphe, I like you, but sometimes I just need a little less. Maybe that worked out better. Oh yeah, it did actually. See if we can add some over here to fluff this side out a little more. Okay, this eye looks a lot better to me. It's not as crazy as this one. All right, not as fluffed down. I'm not the best at making my eyes similar. I've completely, I'm, I found it. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Close that and curl. Looks a lot better. Now, Koki mascara has an elephant on it. Like I just said, my favorite animal is an elephant. I had to try the elephant mascara. And yes, I have been wanting to try the elephant skincare my as long as they've had it, like literally probably my entire life. Ever since I saw it in Sephora, I was like, need to try, but that is very expensive and out of my budget at the moment. So one day, one day we will try. And I will let y'all know if I like it or not. I'm sure I will. As an elephant, bound to like it. I guess the product could be trash and I'd probably still like it, but I bet they're actually really good because I've only heard good things. One eye is done. Now I'll do the other eye. No, I do not wear mascara on my bottom lashes. Do not come for me. Maybe on my wedding day, I will, but today, since I'm just trying this out, that's a no-go. Almost done, I promise, too. I'm not meaning to take 500 years to do my makeup. Alright, second eye is done. There are the eyes. One lash side looks better than the other. Story of my life. What else can I add? Highlight. We will do highlight. Now, can't decide what kind of highlight I want to use. I have Fenty Beauty. Let me show you the shade. It is pure glitter, like glitter. Um, or I could use one of the Too Faced. They're a little more beigey. Well, this one's more beige. This one's more yellowy. Mm, I guess since it'll be my wedding day, I probably won't like a ton of glitter. So we'll go with the more, um, lighter looking highlight, which Too Faced is also kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to mix the two from Too Faced just to add an extra glaze. So no highlight, highlight. So you can kind of see the difference. Oh, it looks so good. It's juicy. It's nice. A little on the tip of the nose and a little on the top of the nose. And then I like to do the top of my lips. I don't know if you can tell. Let me close those up. I may actually add some of that highlight to the corners of my eyes just to add a little bit more pizzazz my brush. So I'm going to use this. It's like a little point on the end, but it's really hard so it's good to just pat in there. I'm going to add a mixture of both and just throw it on the eye. Look at that. Look at the difference. Glowy and put together. A little glowy. Sorry, I rate everything on highlight and sparkles. That is just what I am. Who I am. I like sparkles, I like glitter. All of it, just give it all to me. 
Why do you think I bought the Fenty one that's literally like pure glitter? Like if I could just, let me show you. I'll show you what it looks like first. I'm gonna rub it in. And then, let's see. Do you see? It's glitter. Glitter. Pure glitter. But, absolutely love it. I would probably actually use it on my wedding day. But, for <laughs> this video purposes, I'm not going to. Now, I am going to take my makeup remover cloth and run it all over my lips. Because I'm out of tissues in my room right now. So, I'm just going to use this for now. Okay. So, I wanted to tell y'all anyways. But, I actually got some of the products from the makeup artist in who does Euphoria. And actually, this is the cutest thing. She sent me this little hairpin with the makeup I ordered. It's, it's so cute. But I got a few things and I'll do a whole video with everything I got. But the thing I'm gonna try today is her Mouth Cloud Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Mr. Sheiky Pants. Yes, you heard me right, Sheiky. So this is what it looks like straight out of the package. Beautiful packaging, looks so nice. And this is the applicator for it. But um, when you get the lip, it also comes with the um, lip pencil. And it's in two shades. You get, it's a dual ended stick, this is what it looks like. And this side is hot potato and this side is ballerino. Ballerino? Yeah, ballerina. Not ballerina. No, ballerino. So I'm just going to use the same shade as the lipstick, which is the hot potato. It's the closest in to the shade. It's a little darker. Lips are lined. Put that up. And now to use the actual lipstick. And this is like the nudist nude color. I saw. Wow, that is nude. Actually really pretty. Rub it together to mix it all. Look at that shade. Oh my goodness. the tip if that is not the most nude natural nude I've ever seen in my life that's pretty I love it but I will do the rest of the products I got in a, another video so you will get to see everything 